I'm pausing right now. So, uh, it's all one clip. So, uh, part two. Um, in this video, I'm, I'm uh, actually painting the body. So, I'm explaining to you how I'm doing it. Um, it's going to be... Actually, the whole process. I think, I think I'm in my barn. So, you'll see me doing that. Yeah, and then I think... Yeah, I think I'm in the barn the whole time. Alright guys, so I got the black shadows and the rust. So from a distance it looks pretty cool. But when you really get up close and start looking at it, you can see some of my little bit of splatter there. I tried a, ten, a stencil technique, but uh, it didn't really work. So then I went back with a brush, with a thin brush. And then made my stripes. So... Mm. The only thing with this airbrush, I don't have the capability to turn the air down. So, like, it's 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 all or nothing pretty much. And uh, I need to get a regulator for it. But um, since I was home, I was trying to get it all airbrushed. And um, so my next color is going to be the silver, pearlized silver. And it's basically going to sit on the back. So the thing with painting these um, bodies, everything is backwards. So your rust and your blacks and your shadows go on first. And then your main color, which is your, your silver, is going to go on last. So everything is layered backwards compared to if I was doing this on top. So my silver is going to be all in here. And then once I get done with the silver, I'm going to do the white next. So... If you look, I oh, really can't tell. There's a border. So the border is going to be white. And then I'm going to fade purple into white. To kind of give it more depth into the body. Um, actually, I was looking online last night and I found another body. They're $20. So I might order another body and just do it a solid color for practice. And then this will be my show queen. But we will see. So, yeah, let me get the silver on there. I, I'll probably get as far as the white today, maybe. And then I'll do the purples tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. It's already almost 5 o'clock. So I got two or more hours of sunshine. Um, let me get back to it and uh, see how it turns out. So far, it's looking so good. Look, It's looking pretty good. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm trying to take, a, I'm trying to take my time to see, see the rust. So we'll see how it turns out. Now these are not going to be on there, this is, this is, so some of it's the outside, so it might be a little different. So uh, yeah, let me get the other paint and we'll shoot that gray or silver. Alright guys, so it's uh, getting dark pretty quick, I think it's already 6.30 so I got maybe an hour left. So I got my lantern LED light. Um. So it's you can't really tell because of my markers, but uh, there's I have an outline of my white around the flames, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some pearl purple, and I'm gonna fade the pearl purple, kind of fade it, and then it's gonna go to white. That's my plan. Um, the black around the windows is already white. That's why it looks white right there. So I think I'm gonna do the purple and the white. And then I'm going to call it a night. I'm not sure yet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I also need to fade this too. So I need to come back with some black. I forgot. But I need to... I need to uh, maybe do three more colors. So yeah, the black shadows. Uh, my purple fade. And then the rest of it white. And then this where the P's at, all this, is all going to be a darker purple like a plum. So... Um, um, from a distance, it looks pretty good so far, so I'm going to keep trucking. Uh, hopefully, my LED light helps me, but it's getting, it's for sure getting dark. So, let me uh, put the camera down and uh, get back to it. Let me turn it around. You can see both sides, so you can kind of see the white outline. Um, um, I think it looks pretty cool. 
So, all right. All right, so I am kind of running out of daylight. Um, not necessarily outside, but in here I am. But I did get the white faded in. So, I still don't really have control on the airbrush. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to do, I'm holding the phone in. So you can see my grays, but I think it's too much. So I need to learn how to do, I need to learn how to uh, have airbrush control. So, you know, it's a thing to learn, but I think it's coming out pretty good though. Got my flames, got the fade going. Like I said, I think I don't have a regulator on my airbrush, so I can't lower the pressure. I think I got about 20, 30 PSI coming out of that thing. It should be about 10. So I do need to uh, get a regulator. Like I said, I'm not even, I'm using a regular air compressor. Um, I need to get a small airbrush air compressor, and I think I do a lot better. So, but I am going to do the last color, which is the plum purple. And then we will peel it. So I think the next time I'm on camera, or the, this body's on camera, it will be done. So uh, stay tuned if you follow along so far. Um, thank you. So let's check it out. I mean, this, this, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish her. Here it is. So everywhere that's clear is going to be the darker purple. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of white fade. What do you guys think? Or should I just do a purple? Just flat out purple. Alright, so it's right at sunset. Um, it's got a little bit of a pearl right on, the, uh, right on top of the driver's seat, like right on the roof. And then the rest of it is just plain, plain purple, but it's actually looks more blue. The, the camera kind of tricks you a little bit. <clears throat> so the only thing I'm really worried about is once I peel, there, there's a protective film right here. Once I peel this off, I wonder what it's all going to look like because the flames are not black, they're white. So how much of a difference is going to make? I don't know. Let's hope it doesn't. But I think it looks really cool. So um, let's peel it off and uh, see what we got. But uh, I painted it all white to kind of give it a one full color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, some of that seal, some of that uh, flex seal is what they put on these A scale bodies. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be a shelf queen because this thing is too nice to be getting torn apart. <laughs> so let's peel that skin off and see what it looks like. All right, guys. All right. So it is just about pitch black. Oh, oh I'm trying to hide the body so y'all can't see it. Um, I got my little lamp over here. <clears throat> my LED light's still charging inside. But guys, I took the skin off. I took the windows off. I didn't flex seal it because once I took the skin off, I'm like... I don't even think I want to use this body to run it. I think I'm just going to use it as a shelf queen because I think I outdid myself. I didn't think I was going to, it was going to come out this good. Um, you see the sheet metal, you see the flames, and then you see the blue. Man, it's just, wow. I, I, I honestly didn't expect to do this well. I'm not trying to be, trying to sound conceited, but I think I did a really good job. I'm, Really proud of myself. I haven't painted in, I don't know, it's been a while. I painted my brother's bikes about two, three years ago. So, but man, I am just. But, um, uh, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do another little clip. I'm gonna put it on the car, put the motor in the car. And then, uh, we'll see what it all looks like together. But, um, and then I'll do some lessons learned, what I can do better. Uh, what I need to work on but now that it's getting dark I'm gonna start putting everything up but man guys it just looks wow alright guys thanks for watching um, part 3 is coming so you'll see that 
And um, part three is going to be the walk around and uh, lessons learned type stuff.